Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Bari Khan. Last video I have explained you about standard cost, standard costing, advantages, disadvantages of standard costing and analysis of variance. Now in this video I am going to explain you the formulas for different material variances and labor variances. The problems are based on the formula. So this video is very important because I am going to explain you about all the formulas of material variances and labor variances. So watch till the end, don't skip in between because the coming videos are dependent on this video. So take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain every formula in detail. Actually, variances are calculated for every element of cost, but in our syllabus, only two variances we are going to study that is material variances and labor variances. So, first of all, material variances because the biggest element, the largest element of cost is the material cost. So, material cost, uh, we have material variances. Material variances are also known as material cost variances. It is the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost of material. So first of all, we predetermine the material cost that is called standard material cost. Already we have decided in advance. Later on, when we actually pay for material, the actual material cost may be different from the standard material cost. The difference between the standard material cost and the actual material cost will give rise to material variances. So simply, Material variances are the difference between the actual cost of material and the standard cost of material. So we can classify the material cost in this way. Material cost variance can be divided into material price variance and material usage variance. So if you combine material price variance and material usage variance, you will get material cost variance. Now again, material usage variance can be divided into material mix variance and material yield variance. So these are all the material variances. Every uh, variance will have the formula MCV, MRV, MUV, MMV, MYV. All this we have the formula. First of all, material cost variance. It is known as MCV. So it represents the difference between the actual cost of material used and the standard cost of material specified for actual output achieved. So simply we can say material cost variance is the difference between the actual cost of material and the standard cost of material for actual output. Right? This is the meaning of material cost variance. MCV arises due to variation in price and usage of material. The material cost variance depends on the material price variance and material usage variance. So simply we can say material price variance and material usage variance give rise to material cost variance. Now it can be calculated by using the following formula. Now remember the formula. MCV is equal to material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost and standard cost is nothing but standard quantity into standard price. Standard quantity into standard price will give you standard cost. Usitra actual quantity into actual price will give you actual cost. So you can remember SQ into SP minus AQ into AP. This will give you material cost variance. Secondly, huh, here are abbreviations SQ. SQ stands for standard quantity. Then SP stands for standard price. AQ stands for actual quantity. AP stands for actual price. Now, the second variance material price variance. The actual price what we pay may be different from the standard price what we have estimated predetermined the predetermined material price and the actual material price may be different and this difference will give rise to MPV it is that part of MCV 
which is due to changes in price of material. Material prices might have been changed. So MPV can be calculated as actual quantity. AQ stands for actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. Because it's a price variance, so in bracket you should take price. The price how we have to take SP minus AP. And outside the bracket we have to multiply with AQ, actual quantity. So all the coming form problems are based on this formula. First formula MCV, SM, uh, SC minus AC. SC stands for standard quantity into standard price. AC stands for actual quantity into actual price. Similarly, material price variance is equal to actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. The next is material usage variance, consumption or quantity variance. This material usage variance is also referred to as quantity variance. How much we have expected and how much we have actually used. That means how many kilogram we have estimated and how, much, how many kilogram actually we have used. That will give rise to MUV. It's a part of MCV which is due to standard quantity and actual quantity differs. Then it is calculated as MUV is equal to standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Because usage MUV is also called MQV. Q quantity or usage means same. So in bracket we are taking quantity. So outside the bracket we have to multiply with standard price. So standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity will give your rise to MUV. Next is MMV. Actually MUV is again bifurcated into MMV and MYV. Material mix variance and material yield variance. Now material mix variance. This variance is a part of MUV. MMV is a part of MUV which is due to difference between actual composition of mix and the standard composition of mix of different types of material. It is not necessary that only one type of material may be used. We have different types of material will be used combined. So there is a composition of standard as well as actual. If the composition of standard and actual are different, then it gives rise to MMV. Suppose if we use only one type of material, there is no case of metal mix variance. When we are using two or more than two types of material, then only this MMV will arise. The formula for MMV, standard price into revised SQ minus AQ. So how to find out revised SQ? Total of actual mix divided by total of standard mix into standard quantity. Remember, give full concentration on the formulas because the coming problems are based on these formulas. So MMB is equal to standard price into revised standard quantity minus actual quantity. Last one is material yield variance. Yield means output. The standard output may be different from the actual output. If both the outputs are same, then there is no yield variance. That means there is no loss. Whatever input we are introducing, same output if we get. That means yield is same. But sometimes it may happen that the input and output may be different due to some losses in the process. We have introduced 100 kilogram. Output we are getting 90 kilogram. 10 kilogram is lost during the process. This is the I mean yield variance will arise because input and output are not same. So yield variance, it is that portion of MUV which is due to difference between the actual yield and the standard yield. Yield means output. Actual output and standard output, are, if they are different, then MYV will arise. What is the formula for MYV? Material yield variance is equal to standard cost of material per unit into actual yield minus standard yield from actual input. Standard yield from actual input. So totally five formulas are there in material variances. Five formulas. The first formula MCV, material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. Standard quantity into standard price minus actual quantity into actual price. Second one is material price variance. 
the material price variance is actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. <coughs> Actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. Now material usage variance MUV is equal to standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Then material mix variance standard price into revised SQ minus AQ. And revised SQ is equal to total of actual mix by total of standard mix into standard quantity. Then material yield variance. Standard cost of material per unit into actual yield minus standard yield from actual input. That's all. So I have revised all the formulas for material variances. Now I'm coming to labor variances. Just like material variances, we have another variance, labor. Because most of the organization, the main important elements of costs are material and labor. The material we have finished. The second most important element of cost is labor. So labor cost arises, labor cost variances. Actual labor cost may be different from the standard labor cost. For example, last year we have planned that during the current year we incur a labor cost of 5 lakh rupees. 5 lakh rupees is the total labor cost we have actually predetermined in the last year itself. Now during the current year when we actually pay for labor cost it has come to 6 lakh. So we have estimated labor cost 5 lakh but actual labor cost coming to 6 lakh there is a variance of 1 lakh. So why this variance of 1 lakh labor cost is arising? So we have to analyze the labor cost variances. So labor cost variance arise when the actual labor cost are different from the standard labor cost. Again, we'll bifurcate, analyze the labor cost variance into separate variances. The so labor cost variance can be classified as labor rate variance, labor idle time variance, ITV. If there is any idle time, then only this LITV will arise. LEV, labor efficiency variance. Now again, labor efficiency variance can be subdivided into labor mix variance and labor yield variance. Labor mix variance and labor yield variance. So one by one we'll study. First of all, labor cost variance. Labor cost variance will arise when the actual labor cost is different from the standard labor cost. It represents difference between actual wages paid and the standard wages specified. The formula is similar to MCV. Just like MCV, we have LCV, standard cost minus actual cost. The standard cost we can get by multiplying ST into SR, standard time into standard rate. Then actual, actual cost, we can get actual time into actual rate. So ST into SR minus AT into AR, this is the formula for labor cost variance. ST stands for standard time, AT stands for actual time, SR stands for standard rate, AR stands for actual rate. That's all. Now the next variance is labor rate variance, LRV. LRV is that portion of LCV which is due to the difference between the actual rate, actual wage rate and the standard wage rate specified. So what we have expected the wage rate is different from the actual wage rate which we pay. So if there is difference between the wage rate specified and wage rate actually paid, then this variance will arise called LRV. The formula for LRV is AT, actual time into standard rate minus actual rate. Standard time. Uh, actual time into standard rate minus actual rate. This is the formula for uh, labor rate variance, LRV. Now, LEV, labor efficiency variance. Efficiency variance will arise when the standard time and actual time is different. So, we have specified, we have uh, estimated that the specified time will be 1000 hours, but the actual time taken is 1200 hours. So, time taken is more. So when the actual time and standard time are different, then this efficiency variance will arise. So it is that part of LCV which is due to difference between standard R specified 
and actual hours taken. Standard time and actual time. So how to calculate labor efficiency variance is equal to standard rate into standard time minus actual time. So SR into ST minus it. Labor idle time variance. Sometimes if there is idle time, then this variance will arise. Every, every problem it will not be there. In some problems, some idle time will be given. Then we have to calculate labor idle time, abnormal idle time. So here the formula for LITV, labor idle time variance is equal to abnormal idle time into standard rate. And this variance will always be adverse. The other variances may be favorable or may be adverse. But this LITV will always be adverse, right? So if you get a positive variance, favorable. If you get a negative variance, you have to write A. Simply if you calculate variance, it does not convey any meaning. Until and unless we have to specify whether variance is a favorable variance or an adverse variance. Positive, favorable, negative, adverse. Now, material yield variance, uh, material mix, sorry, sorry, labor mix variance, LMV. The formula for LMV, standard rate into revised standard time minus actual time. And revised standard time is equal to total of actual mix by total of standard mix into standard time. Labor yield variance, LYV. So LYV is equal to standard cost of labor per unit into actual yield minus standard yield from actual input. That's all. So totally six formulas we have in labor variances and five formulas we have in material variances. So material variances formula, first MCV, material cost variance, standard cost minus actual cost, standard quantity into standard price minus actual quantity into actual price. That's all. Material price variance, actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. Material usage variance, standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Material mix variance, standard price into revised SQ minus AQ. Lastly, material yield variance, standard material cost per unit of output into actual yield minus standard yield from actual input that's all these are the five formulas for material and five formulas for labor variances lcv labor cost variance is equal to sc minus ac standard cost minus actual cost standard cost standard time into standard rate st into sr actual cost actual time into actual rate at into ar labor rate variance actual time into standard rate minus actual rate. Labor efficiency variance, standard rate into standard time minus actual time. Labor mix variance, standard rate into revised standard time minus actual time. Labor yield variance, standard labor cost per unit into actual yield minus standard yield from actual input. Lastly, labor idle time variance, LITV, idle time into standard rate, that's all. So I have explained you all the formulas for material variances and labor variances. So if you have watched with full concentration, definitely you can be able to remember. And I told you many times, whenever you watch the video, uh, keep a notebook, pen calculator beside you and note down whatever I am telling. If you make note like this, Definitely you will enjoy learning the problems and also you will get a lot of knowledge from these videos So if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video Share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video subscribe if you have not yet subscribed And by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah will continue the problems in the next video